More than 300 people showed up to City Hall to make their voices heard about the growing encampments around the city. Many supporters of the ordinance were East Village and downtown residents and business owners who said they didn't feel safe and their businesses were losing customers because of the sprawling encampments nearby. Many people who had and are experiencing homelessness and people who provide services for them opposed the ordinance, saying that the plan would just crack down on an already vulnerable population. For my wife who walks on the street, this is not a safe environment. So this isn't here, we're not here to say that this is going to solve homelessness. This isn't going to make a dent in the crisis. What it is going to do is going to protect certain areas in our city. The ordinance will do nothing. In fact, if you look at the maps, it literally is going to move people in some cases from one side of a street to the other. And we're going to spend a lot of resources literally moving people across the street and keeping one side of the street clear while everybody lives on the other side. How does that make any sense? I'm here, um, I feel like, you know, the, the, the ban that they're trying to do, you know, they're gonna handcuff me for me, trying to be the best I can for my son, what, what I have. Just based on the daily activities, the things that we witness, the things that we are living, um, I think we need something in place. And this may not be the answer, but this is a step in the right direction, I think. The system is broken and you are allowing the mayor to blame the victims of a broken system for his failures and it's disgusting and it is going to cause them harm. The system itself keeps putting people out on the street and causing homelessness. You don't address that and you don't address the neglect, the abuse and the incompetence throughout the system. We have people, homeless people going into our restaurants taking food off of customers' plates. We have people, I mean, it's out of control. We too have some safe places to go. And I think some of those safe places should be sidewalks. We should be able to go to parks. We should be able to enjoy the city as much as the homeless people. This is a vote against blocking the sidewalks. You cannot let tents block people from having safe passages. God forbid someone gets killed because they didn't have a way to cross the street. All right, so how is the enforcement of this ordinance actually going to work? The ordinance will go back to the full council for a final reading on June 27th, and it won't be enforced until July 31st, around a month after the city plans to open its first safe sleeping parking lot on 20th and B, which will have the capacity to fit 100 people with their tents. After that, enforcement will begin near schools and in designated parks. The police will inform someone and give them a warning at their first encounter if they're in violation of the ordinance. If the police finds them breaking a rule again, they will be issued a misdemeanor citation. On the third police interaction, a person will be arrested if they're not following the rule. If they accept a shelter bed, then that's when we can then hopefully contact either 20th and B directly or go through coordinated intake system and find adequate shelter for that individual. What has me very excited is what Director Jarman just said about the camping sites at 20th and B. It's a campsite. It's a 10 by 13 piece of property. Um, and I think that's going to be um, accepted well with individuals who don't want congregate settings. Um, it's also um, encouraging for me because, um, as Ms. Jones from the Housing Commission earlier stated, we're at 97% shelter capacity. Um, we have individuals that cannot take a top bunk, and that's what's only available. So with this 20th and B site being a campsite, I think it's going to accommodate a majority of folks. And, and an individual who says no, they are choosing, for whatever reason they are saying no, they're choosing a reason. And it's not because the, the, the bed is not compatible. We'll be right back.